Hey everyone, welcome back to TK's Tech Talk. This is another unboxing video. This time I won't be needing my trusty kitchen knife because there's no tape on the box as far as I could see. So this is the Asus Prime B550MK. And as you may have seen from a few of my previous videos, I'm doing a new PC build. It's been a long time since I did a PC build. So I've decided to unbox all of the components separately just in case somebody was looking for a particular item and you can feel free to watch my other video which talks about all of the components just to give you an overview of what I've decided to use uh, to build my PC. So I've chosen to go with the B550 chipset. Um, it's obviously just a mid-range board and the reason why I chose it is because it does have two M.2 slots but we can talk about all of that once we actually have a look at the motherboard when I open it up. So what else does it feature? It has PCIe 4.0 support because obviously that's now built into the processors so let's have a quick look around the box to see if there's anything exciting so there are other versions of this board like the b550 ma and i don't really know what the difference is but this is one that was available to me on amazon so i bought it i think it was the last one they had in stock so i'll just quickly go through the ports that are available here we have two by usb 3.2 gen 2 four by usb 3.2 gen 1 gen 1 is five gigabits gen 2 is 10 gigabits then we have a VGA port, a DVRD port, a HDMI port, a Realtek 1GB Ethernet port, three audio jacks, and a PS2 keyboard mouse combo. I don't know why that's there, but it's there. And what else does it say? It supports memory up to 4400 OC and 128 gigs, so that's pretty good. And then we have two, obviously, M.2 slots that one of them supports PCIe 4.0, the other one supports PCIe 3.0. So I know there are other boards that actually support uh, dual PCIe 4.0. I think they're B550s as well. I can't remember now. I was looking at a few boards. Then we have four SATA ports at 6 gigabits. And then we also have one PCIe 4.0 X16 slot, which is where you put your graphics card. And then you have two by PCIe X1 slots. They're the two small PCIe slots. So we'll have a look at them once we open this up. So let's see what's inside the box. So we have the motherboard. So let's take the motherboard out. Put it to the side for now. Just wanna see what else is inside the box. Let's take this piece of card out. It looks like there's a cable in here. Let's see what that is. A couple of SATA cable, SATA data cables. One has a right angled, one is a right angle cable. The other one is straight. Then obviously we have the base plate for the motherboard. Okay, these are the M.2 mounting screws. So I would highly recommend if you're only gonna be using one, screw the other one into the motherboard just so that it's safe. Some more bedtime reading. And still, even in 2020 or 2021, we have a DVD. Does anybody still have a DVD drive in their PC? So that's some bedtime reading, which we can look at later. So let's put all of this stuff back in the box for now. And have a look at the motherboard. Okay, so let's take the motherboard out of the packaging. So we have two brackets here that would have to be removed, I believe, because I'm using the standard uh, AMD heatsink that came with the 3500 XT, sorry, 3600 XT. We have four DIMM slots, which support up to 128 gigs of RAM. We have the PCIe 4.0 slot and then two X1 slots. So these are 16 X, these are X1 slots for other expansion cards. And we have the two M.2 slots. Remember, this one is the this one supports 4.0, this one supports only 3.0. Then we have all the connectors we talked about. The light blue ones are the USB 3.2 Gen 2, which are these ones here. HDMI, DVI, DVI-D that is, VGA, and then we have four USB 3.2 Gen 1 and that crazy PS2 port, the audio ports and the one gigabit LAN. So like I said, I will be building, oh sorry, one more thing, the four SATA ports there, and then we have all the headers, etc., for all of the fans and things like that and the power connectors on the motherboard. So like I've already said in one of my previous videos, I am actually going to be building 
a Ryzen 5 3600 XT with a RX 570 graphics card and a 16 gig HyperX 3200 C16 memory. So I will be putting a video up of my PC when it's done, where well, I, ho I hope to try to do that anyway. And I'm gonna be unboxing a couple of more components. So that's it for this video. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.